hey guys welcome back to the channel hope everything's going great today i am showing you guys how to do a print and cut in cricut design space so right now i am pulling up design space this is how it looks when you first sign on we're gonna go ahead and create a new project um i had already started so i hit replace to empty my space um what you're gonna do is upload your design and if you already don't have it uploaded, you're going to click on right there where it says upload image. I already have it uploaded, so we're going to rock with that. And we're going to do Rugrats. I have some Rugrat bows in my shop, so I made a matching shirt. This image was purchased off of Etsy as a sublimation print. So that's why it's like super clear. It looks just as clear on the shirt like it's popping out. Okay. So up here, I am sizing it, and you can change the width and the height. You also can just grab the arrow um, down here that's down by the wheel and make it bigger or smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and hit make it once I get it my desired size. And as you can see, it was too big. Print cut has to be 8 by 11, but you also have to have that border around it. I resized it, and we're going to go ahead and print um you can mirror image some people when they do print and cut they mirror their image i'm i'm not a fan of that it doesn't work for me so we'll hit continue you can see here that um we're going to send it to the printer up here you can see that i am connected via bluetooth to the cricut maker you're going to select your printer i have too many for no reason and we're gonna go ahead and print. You can leave the bleed on, take the bleed off. Um, I'm not zoomed in enough for you guys to see the difference, but it, it makes a difference. We're gonna hit print and leave the bleed on. We're gonna come back after it's off the printer. Let's see. All right. So right here, you see this light blinking for you to go ahead and feed your mat into your maker. I have um, painters tape down because I make bows. Oh, well, now we're going to hit the cut button to start it cutting. But yeah, I have the painter tape down because my mat, for one, I need a new one. And for two, um, I use painters tape to hold down my felt for my bows also. Um, don't put the tape on the black line around that box. That outline is what is registering right now. Right now, it's not cutting. It's registering those marks so they can cut it perfectly yeah that's what's going on here and this takes a while it's almost done though okay so um once it's all done you're going to unload your machine and you're going to take your paper off okay so i don't have anything to hold my phone what what do you guys use drop that below of the link the title because i can't hold my phone and do stuff this is just ridiculous um so you're actually going to see me do this with one hand like a retard <laughs> and i got it close so you can see the bleed like around angelica's hair this is the black border right now you see my ass back for self weeding with one hand okay First of all, ignore my nails. We're on quarantine. Judge your mama, not me. Second of all, I use a um, exact on knife to weed. It's old. I've had it for like three or four years, so it's not that sharp. But don't do that. Use the Cricut tools if you're just starting out because you can cut yourself anytime. You can drop that and it'll go right through your foot. Like it. Be very careful with exact on knives. Okay. Use your Cricut tools. Don't be like me. Be better than me. Okay, I'm about to get this together. I'm about to get this together. Or not. Oh, I got it. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. Okay, so. um, I'm going to weed out these little pieces that's left. Depending on your image, you might have more, you might have less. It all depends on your image that you're weeding. Um, I'm just taking out little black spots and white spots that I see because I want this image to look like 
is popping out of the shirt. I have a trash can over to the side for my key. Okay, so this is how our image is going to be on our shirt. And I am actually going to peel this off off screen because I peel it off. One of my friends, she says she leaves her on. She mirrors the image and goes from there. And you see my shirt that I'm getting ready to prep, which I do go over it with the Cricut first, heat it up, and get the wrinkles out. And I also have my Teflon sheet because you're going to need it. Or parchment paper okay so here you can see me just kind of prepping the shirt I look amazed bags with days whatever <sighs> um I don't pretty much yeah I just knock all the wrinkles out and get the shirt warmed up okay I also have a Cricut uh, base under it so it doesn't go through. And then I carefully lay the image on it when I know that everything is in place. Nobody's hand is up under somebody's head. Like, you see how the wheels are like turning? Because once it gets warm, it starts to take shape, okay? So it started rolling up, as you can see in that wheel there. Okay, so once she has that all out, you get your Teflon paper put that on top and it's just a heat protected to not burn the shirt and the design and we're gonna go ahead and press that I use a Cricut easy press mini because all I do is kid shirts um I think I what do I have it on 360 for 29 seconds usually 30 seconds hit your Cricut button and apply that pressure <laughs> on the next film okay no I'm just kidding I'm just kidding Okay, so you're applying pressure. Um, the whole time the timer is on. Again, I am holding this because I'm ass backwards and I don't have something that would have held it. You know, held it. Shit. Um, again, in the comments, leave what you guys use to hold your phone. Okay, so the timer went off. You can see the steam coming off of it. Peel it up carefully. In case something isn't all the way down, you don't want to rip it and have to start over. Um, Take it off. Let it cool down a little bit. And then, you know what? <laughs> Get into it. Come on now. That, I fixed Angelica's hair. You guys can see it a little bit curled up. I went back over it after the video. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Like and subscribe.